this video is all about the jig and the various aspects of fishing with it. Welcome to Fishing and More with Tom and I'm Tom. Folks, get ready to dive into the world of jig fishing for bass, where the lunkers lurk and the excitement runs high. Let's kick things off with a mind-blowing fact. Did you know that some of the biggest bass ever caught have been reeled in through the art of jig fishing? That's right. We're talking about monster-sized bass that will leave you in awe. Now let's set the stage by introducing the concept of jig fishing for bass. It's not just a technique, it's a thrill-seeking adventure that keeps anglers on their toes. The anticipation of that sudden strike, the adrenaline rush as you feel the tug on your line, that's what makes jig fishing so exhilarating. But hey, let's address the elephant in the room, the challenges. Jig fishing for bass isn't a walk in the park. From getting the right presentation to mastering the right jigging techniques. There are plenty of hurdles to overcome. It's all part of the game and the journey is just as rewarding as the catch itself. Now let's delve into the nitty gritty details. We're talking about different types of jigs, trailers, and techniques that can up your game and help you land those elusive lunkers. Whether you prefer a finesse approach or a more aggressive jigging style, there's a strategy for every angler out there. So let's get started. When asking a few fishermen if they uh, use jigs, the reply was that they tried it but would rather do something else. We're going to ask the Grand Wizard of Fishing his thoughts on the matter. A fisherman goes out and tries a few times to fish a jig, but doesn't catch anything. Let's ask the Grand Wizard of Jig Fishing for his advice. If a fisherman is struggling to catch anything while using a jig, here are a few pieces of advice I would offer. Experiment with different jig sizes and colors. Fish can be picky about the size and color of the jig they'll bite. Adjust your retrieval technique. Sometimes, the problem lies in the way the jig is being retrieved. Change fishing locations. If you're not having luck in one spot, try moving to a different location. Use live bait or trailers. Adding live bait or trailers to your jig can often increase its attractiveness to fish. Pay attention to environmental factors. Factors like water temperature, weather conditions, and time of day can all impact fish behavior. Observe other anglers. Sometimes, seeing what techniques are working for other anglers in the area can provide valuable insights. Practice patience. Fishing can be a game of patience, and sometimes it just takes time for the fish to start biting. By experimenting with different techniques, locations, and bait options, the fishermen can increase their chances of success and hopefully reel in some nice catches with their jig. The jigs featured in this video are available on our website. I hope later on in the video, he'll give us some proverbs on the subject. Like our video series on worm harnesses, we have a lot of information to cover. Thus, we'll do it in several videos and suggest you subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be aware of additional videos as they are produced and uploaded to YouTube. The information discussed in this series is a condensed version of our ebook called All About the Jig that is available on our website. We welcome any and all questions, suggestions, and or comments. They would be greatly appreciated. We have a couple of interesting, hopefully exciting things we'd like to share with you and we'll uh, tell you about towards the end of the video. In fact, we'll be giving away some jigs to try and catch some of those big bass. We have a lot of information to cover, so let's get started. Let's travel together on a journey through the many aspects of fishing. The information for this video is a condensed version of what is contained in our All About the Jig ebook. 
This presentation is part one of our All About the Jig YouTube video series. We're going to discuss what exactly is a fishing jig? Why do I want to fish with a jig? Where do I fish with it? What is the best time to use a jig? How to make your own jigs? What are the benefits of using a jig? A fish is just a fish. Apparently, we're going to have another visit from the Grand Wizard giving us some proverbs just for the jig fishermen. Jigs are designed to be dropped or jerked up and down in the water to mimic the motion of injured prey attracting the attention of fish. Just what is a fishing jig? Fishing with a jig offers several advantages that make it a popular choice among anglers. A jig is a type of fishing lure that typically consists of a lead sinker with a hook molded into it and often covered by a soft body. You can fish them as is or paint them in your favorite color. Why do I want to use it? Versatility. Jigs can be used in various fishing environments, including lakes, rivers, ponds, and saltwater areas. Bottom fishing. Jigs are particularly effective for bottom fishing, allowing you to target fish that dwell near the bottom of the water column. Precision. Jigs enable you to precisely control the depth and movement of your lure. Year-round use. Jigs can be productive throughout the year in both cold and warm water conditions. Customization. You can customize jigs by choosing different sizes, shapes, colors, and trailers, which are soft plastic bodies, to match the preferences of the target species and the fishing conditions. Subtle presentation. Jigs can be fished with subtle movements allowing you to present a more natural looking bait to weary fish. Fishing with a jig provides you with a versatile and effective tool for targeting a wide range of fish species in various fishing environments. Where do I fish with it? Weed beds Jigs are effective for fishing around weed beds and other submerged vegetation where fish like bass, pike, and panfish often hide and feed. Rocky structure. Rocky areas such as points, drop-offs, and underwater boulders are prime spots for jig fishing. Submerged brush and trees. Jigs excel in fishing around submerged brush piles, fallen trees, and other underwater structures. Docks and piers. Fishing jigs around docks, piers, and other man-made structures can be productive, especially for species like bass, crappie, and perch that seek shelter in these areas. Drop-offs and channel. Jigs are effective for fishing along drop-offs, underwater channels, and depth changes where fish may transition between shallow and deep water. River Currents In rivers and streams, jigs can be used to target fish holding in eddies, current breaks, and other areas where they can conserve energy while waiting for prey to drift by. Saltwater flats and mangroves. In saltwater environments, jigs are commonly used for sight fishing on flats and around mangrove shorelines. They can be effective for targeting species like redfish, snook, trout, and flounder. Reef and wreck fishing. When fishing in offshore saltwater environments, jigs are often used for bottom fishing around reefs, wrecks, 
and other underwater structures where game fish congregate. Remember to adjust your jig size, color, and presentation based on the species you're targeting and the specific conditions of the fishing location. Experimentation and observation are key to finding success when fishing with jigs. When is the best time to use a jig? The best time of year to use a jig is dependent upon weather conditions and the specific characteristics of the fishing location. Year round. Jigs can be productive throughout the year, making them a versatile choice for anglers. Early morning and late evening. During the early morning and late evening hours, when light levels are lower and fish are often more active, jigs can be particularly effective. Overcast days. Overcast or cloudy days can provide ideal conditions for jig fishing. Post spawn and pre-spawn. During the post spawn and pre-spawn periods, when fish are transitioning between spawning areas and deeper water. When fish holding near bottom structure. Jigs excel in situations where fish are holding near the bottom structure, such as weed beds, rocks, submerged brush, and drop-offs. During bait fish activity. Pay attention to signs of bait fish activity, such as surface disturbances, or feeding activity. During cold fronts. While cold fronts can sometimes make fishing challenging, jigs can still be effective under these conditions, especially when fished slowly and presented in a more subtle manner. In clear water. Jigs can be particularly effective in clear water conditions where fish may be more wary and require a more subtle, natural-looking presentation. Successful jig fishing often involves experimentation and adapting your approach based on the specific conditions you encounter on the water, observing fish behavior, paying attention to environmental factors, and adjusting your jig presentation accordingly to help maximize your chances of success. How to make your own jigs. This will be a very brief outline as we will cover the subject in more detail at a later date. This is a freestyle jig mold that has six cavities for six jigs of various sizes. This mold has a keeper associated with it used to hold in place a plastic worm. With this pour, we only want three different sizes. Using the lead melting pot, we will fill all cavities to get the mold hot getting a better pour. You can immediately remove the jigs from the mold. Once cooled, you can remove the sprue and file down any burrs. We are powder painting one, two, and three color jig. This is a round head jig in only one color. June bug green flake. Notice the heat shrink tubing covering the eye of the hook. And we're 
using a purple color. We're just going to do the two colors. <clears throat> Painted white. And I put it in the oven for a little bit. There's the gold. Right here I'm just dipping a brush to check. And you got to keep in mind that we're going to do eyes on this, so hopefully it'll come out pretty good. What are the benefits of using a jig? Using a jig for fishing offers several benefits that make it a popular choice among anglers. Versatility. Jigs can be used to target a wide variety of fish species in both freshwater and saltwater environments. Bottom fishing. Jigs excel at fishing near the bottom of the water column where many predatory fish species feed. Precision. Anglers can control the depth and movement of a jig with precision, allowing them to target specific areas where fish are likely to be hiding. Year-round effectiveness. Jigs can be productive throughout the year in both cold and warm water conditions. Customization. Jigs can be customized to match the preferences of, of target fish species and the fishing conditions. Subtle presentation. Jigs can be fished with subtle movements, allowing anglers to present a more natural looking bait to wary fish. Minimal snagging. Jigs are designed to be relatively snag resistant, making them less likely to get caught up on underwater obstacles compared to other types of lures. Fun and rewarding. Fishing with jigs can be a fun, rewarding experience, whether you're casting from shore, fishing from a boat, or even ice fishing. There's a satisfaction that comes with mastering the art of jig fishing and consistently catching fish using a, this versatile lure. The benefits of using a jig for fishing make it a valuable tool in any angler's tackle box. Whether you're a beginner or experienced angler, incorporating jigs into your fishing arsenal can help increase your success on the water. We're going to stop jigging around and just say, we hope we have provided some interesting and valuable information and would appreciate a like and a subscribe to tell us that. The jigs featured in this video are available on our website. Despite the number of different fish, it ends up there are small differences between the species. They are very much alike. The wet in fishing, color, lure, rod, reel, boat, boat motor, electronics. The most important factor is where. You can't catch a fish if you're fishing where they ain't. To emphasize a point, using the best of equipment and etc. If you're fishing an area of your lake that has no fish, you can't catch one. These were quotes from Buck Perry, the father of structure fishing. As we wrap things up, let's recap the key tips and strategies we've covered in this ultimate guide to landing lunkers through jig fishing. Remember, patience, persistence, and a bit of finesse can make all the difference when you're out on the water chasing bass. Lastly, I want to leave you with a challenge. Why not try jig fishing for bass on your next fishing trip? 
Share your experiences, successes, and even the ones that got away in the comments section below. Let's build a community of passionate anglers who are always up for the thrill of the catch. Meet the Grand Wizard of Fishing. He's got some proverbs for us. Give a man a jig, and he'll fish for a day. Teach a man to jig, and he'll dance with the fish. Give a fisherman a jig, and he'll be happy for an hour. Give him a cooler full of fish, and he'll be happy for a week. A jig a day keeps the stress away, but a fish on the line will make your day shine. You know you're an expert fisherman when even the fish can't believe they fell for your line. Subscribe so you will know when part two is uploaded and available for viewing. It will talk about, does the mood of the fish determine the weight of the jig I should be using? What do you look for when a fish hits your jig? What do you feel when a fish hits your jig? What size is the best to use when trying to find fish? What type of fish would you use it for? I'm told we're going to have another visit from the Grand Wizard giving us some more proverbs just for the jig fishermen. We're giving away copies of our ebook. Subscribe so that you have an opportunity to get one. Once again, thank you for your visit. Hopefully the information provided will be of value and help you catch more fish. Please be respectful of water and weather. Now let's go fishing.